Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mini Virginia here, and it's time for a very special video, an unboxing or review um, of a product, uh, you know, I haven't done unboxings in ages, and it's something I've been meaning to get back to, and today's going to be a very interesting one, I'm going to be talking about this, this was just released, uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate doesn't come out for another nearly month, it's just gone under a month, but... The controller has come out. This is the official Nintendo GameCube controller. It will eventually focus. Yep, Nintendo Ultimate S GameCube controller, Super Smash Ultimate Edition. Uh, this is the newest GameCube controller released. It's still weird that this controller is still be being released th to this day. Uh, but I'm going to be doing something interesting in this video. I'm going to be not only comparing it to the GameCube um, controller from the Wii U version of Super Smash Brothers, but I'm also going to be testing it up against other GameCube controllers, because while they are made by Nintendo, and while they are going to be very, 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 very similar, I just want to make sure that there's no major differences. So call this a comparison, a review, an unboxing, no matter what it is, let's just immediately dive in. Hello! There we go. Uh, let's just... Yeah, um, I got a selection of controllers out to do this unboxing video. Um, these are the controllers, the official ones anyway, that I have. From the purple one, to my Smash Brothers one, to this Resident Evil one. I'm go going to be using this in this little uh, comparison video here. Uh, because I've chosen these two because uh, this one is the most, um, the oldest one I believe that I have. Uh, because I got this pre-owned. And uh, this one feels like it has the most wear out of any of the buttons. So I can tell that this one has been well used. Not only by me, but the person who previously owned it before me. It does need to clean though, I will say that much. And then of course, the one that was released for Smash Brothers Wii U. The Super Smash Brothers Wii U controller that was um, made alongside Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Um, it's been pretty much only me that's used this controller, so I know that any wear from this is my own personal wear from playing Smash Brothers to using it in my uh, other GameCube games. But we're not going to go into the comparisons yet. I thought I'd just let you know what kind of equipment I'm working with, but yes, let's have a look at this beautiful little bastard that just came out. The Super Smash Brothers Ultimate GameCube controller, the Ultimate Edition this is a very nice box to have. It is uh, very plain and simple. Um, the GameCube controller is on the front. And if you are wondering, uh, for comparison's sake, what is the difference between uh, this particular controller and this one that was released a few years ago for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, there is no difference. Uh, basically, if you've got this one already, you know what you're getting with this one. Uh, pretty much the only thing that has changed is the logo. But I still wanted to do this comparison because there there are a few little things, a few little things here and there that kind of don't sit well with me. Um, I've already unboxed this controller. Like, there's nothing in here. You just saw the controller. In fact, actually, um, I need to put the video back up. But I actually unboxed this on a very old YouTube video that I did. Uh, back then, I was still using my iPhone. Now, I'm trying to use, like, professional cameras and uh, Yeti blue microphones and all that. But, yeah, if you want to look back at how this channel kind of started off and uh, look at the unboxing that I did for that, yep, you can have a look. I think back then, as well, I used... Um, Oh, I, I didn't really have a GameCube controller at that point. I, I used a third-party one that I've been using for ages. But, yeah, um... They're pretty much the same, but there's a few things with the box that I, I'm, I'm a little bit, um, I don't know exactly how to feel about them. Uh, the first first thing you'll definitely notice, and it's more prominent if I show you this side, um, Nintendo went out of their way with the Wii U controller. If I just quickly have this on screen for a second, uh, you can tell they went all out. You have the uh, picture of the controller here with the Smash Brothers Edition controller there. You have the artwork that showed up on the game case itself, some character art over here, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, it has the full logo there and it's uh, proper text, tells you the contents, uh, here was just normal regular information and then of course this side was advertising the Wii U GameCube adapter. Uh, by the way, if you are going to be playing Smash Brothers, um, as far as I know, the one for the Wii U will definitely work on uh, Super Smash Brothers. 
for a Wii U. It'll, it'll, it'll uh, let me just get something on screen while I try and remember what the fuck I was saying. Yeah, uh, basically, if you have the Wii U adapter, it should still work on the Switch. Um, just plug it into the two USB things on the side, which is good because now I have port controllers as well. Uh, but yeah, with this one here, lovely designs, lovely decals, lovely presentation overall. I I loved displaying that box. With this box, however, it is very plain. Right. Like, you know, without even going into focus, you just have the Nintendo logo here. This is, I, I know this is because Nintendo kind of took a more, um, I want to say grown up route about presenting their boxes. Yeah, GameCube controller. Uh, no big Smash Brothers thing from my guitar. It literally just says GameCube controller on the side. The only reason you would know is this is Smash Ultimate, is the logo. Um, also, it's a bit hard to see. I don't know if, yeah, if you're bringing it in closer, you can see the light gray logo here uh, on the box as well. That's kind of nice. I do like that. I will display this box when I have a uh, display in space. And even here, it, all it really does is show you uh, small information like how to plug it into your TV and the different consoles it'll work on. And, and this is one thing that I absolutely adore about the GameCube controller. From the GameCube to the Wii, to the, if you had the right versions of the Wii, the Wii U, if you had the adapter, and now the Nintendo Switch, if you have the adapter, this controller here, with really no need for um, any real revisions to the controller, like, it's pretty much the same. It, it's, it, it's the same controller, and it's lasted four console generations. That's just nuts to me. Um, I love it when I see Nintendo go out of their way. I loved it when I heard the news about this. I knew I was going to get it. Um, fiance got it for me as a birthday present and it was absolutely fantastic. So, um, now we're going to open this, but here's where the other interesting thing about opening this cartridge, uh, this box up, you'll see with the Nintendo Wii U version that it is a, just a box. It has the flap. It has a easy way of opening this. There is no way to get inside this box without tearing it apart. Like there is no way at the bottom. There's no way at the top. It, it, it's rip or nothing. So I'm going to be delicately using my lovely floral pattern red and white knife for this. It's lovely. It kind of goes. Right. So I'm going to be very be going to be very gentle. I've never used a knife to open these kind of things before. I really to be honest shouldn't be tested with knives. And this is that fucking Oh, I don't want to break the cardboard, but I don't exactly want to stab myself in the fingers either. This is this is painful. I I thought that when I opened my first amiibo, it was painful, but this for some reason is a lot worse. Because at least with the amiibos, I I was trying to be delicate with all the boxes for ages. But come on, get you open. Oh, the pains of not having editing software so that I could cut this part out of out in post. Okay, I'm getting there. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Fuck the knife, we're opening it that way. Well, I've just made a massive hole in the front. There we go. Oh. Oh, fuck. This is some strong adhesive. I wanted to keep this box in as much tact as possible. I can't believe I broke that box. I'm actually kind of sad. I, I promise, Daddy Sakurai. I won't, I won't do this again. Look at how... F Come on. I should move the knife. I don't. I can't be trusted with knives. Like you make one sacrifice to. You, you know you make one virgin sacrifice, and and everybody says that you're dangerous with knives and not allowed to, you know, be allowed in public without a thing anymore. You know, this. Okay, this is actually pissing me off. <laughs> What the hell? You can see in the box here, it's just this, like, adhesive, but it's, it's like the strongest adhesive known to man. Wow. Maybe one day in this video, which has already gone on for, like, nine minutes, I'll actually be able to show off the controller. Aha! We got that! We got that! We got that! We got that! And that... I'm trying... It's not that I'm weak as shit, it is that, but I'm trying to be delicate. Look at the fucking mess I've made here. That was some strong adhesive on there. Why did you do this, Nintendo? I wanted to keep this box in nice shape. 
But now I've got this massive tear here because I thought I would use a knife. Uh, oh, well, this controller's going to get wear and tear from me anyway. So, yes, we finally got to the actual box opening part of it. And I think from here it's pretty standard. But, oh, I love opening a new GameCube controller. I loved it the last time. Um, I can't remember a lot of that video. i got to be honest. Uh, I remember I made it. Um good couple of years ago um there is absolutely no documentation in here that's uh weird you usually see something like with a i suppose if you're buying this though you already know how to use a gamecube controller but usually they have some like documentation in here i like documentation let me just check in the box nope this bitch empty yeet ah oh, good old mini fridentia bringing you dead vine memes so here we go the super smash brothers ultimate gamecube controller and it is looking very sexy i love the gamecube controller i absolutely adore it i also adore the fact that i didn't put my phone on silent before i started recording this video and i'm too far in now to stop and i don't have the editing software to take this part out i love my life i really do <laughs> no either way yeah this is a good con this has always been a good controller to me. Ever since I first uh, used it during the Brawl days, um, I just stuck to this controller because I started Smash Brothers with Brawl. I um, saw how many options there were for um, controllers. Uh, like you could play with the Wii by itself, the Nunchuck, and the Wii Remote, and the Ga and the classic controller, and the GameCube controller. So I actually went out and I bought all of the options to try out. And man, immediately I gravitated towards the GameCube controller. And I do this is. Oh, it feels weird if because it's new. I think um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's me or it might be that actually this feels more textured, whereas this one feels a lot smoother. It might also be the years of me running this controller down because of how much I used it for Smash Brothers Wii U, which um, I still play. You know, I, I still go back and play, and I still use these controllers for. Um, like, all sorts of GameCube games. Yeah, you can... The main thing that you're going to have to get used to... Okay, this is a big thing, is that with, um... Of course, with any new controller, you're going to need to wear down the buttons before you kind of get that comfort zone that you've already had. But with Smash players, they're more likely to use something like uh, this, to be honest, because where they've had it for so long, they, they know the wear of their, those buttons. But, eh... If you're looking for a new controller, fuck yeah, I, I, I definitely, like, I loved this option. Um, there's a couple of differences with the controllers. The main one, uh, like I said, is the texturing, but I think that's where it's brand new and I haven't used it. But of course, there's the Smash Brothers logo. Uh, with the Wii U one, it has the fire with the Smash Ball in the middle. And with this, it has a bit larger, uh, just the Smash Ball. Just the regular Smash Ball, no uh, real pizzazz to it, which I kind of, there's parts that I like more and there's parts that I don't like as much, like the simple Smash design, everybody knows this, uh, I think I actually kind of prefer it to this where it's more simplified, but why did they not fill in these sections, uh, like I, I don't know why they didn't make it into a full white Smash Ball instead of this kind of like white outline, I don't know. I mean, apart from that, the controller is, as usual with these GameCube controllers, absolutely lovely. I, They've always fit nicely into my hand. I know where all the buttons are. Uh, C-Stick, Analog Stick, it all works. And you know what? I'm probably going to play GameCube tonight. I'm going to instantly use this controller. I'm not, like, I don't need to wait for Smash Brothers. Um, I'm going to come off this section now, and then I will go on to normal face camera. Hello, I'm on face camera. This is of course a lovely controller like last time um but can i recommend it and that's a bit difficult because of course let me just raise the microphone up a bit with when it comes to gamecube controllers especially when it comes to nintendo th this happened last time this was these controllers are specifically made for more of the super smash brothers audience if you've never played smash brothers before maybe you'll like the GameCube controller more, maybe you won't. Like, that's completely down to you. But also, 
these controllers are starting to get a little bit harder to find. I mean, I remember the Wii U version ended up going, like, massively up in price for seemingly no reason. I think Nintendo just stopped making them. So if you are in need of a new, brand new game controller, hey, Nintendo's making them now. Grab them while you can. I think they have been sold out. Um, as for usability, though, I think that uh, the Switch definitely has a much... Uh, better time when it comes to actually being able to use the GameCube controller because even though the box says specifically it's just for Smash Brothers there's a bit of a difference with that you see with the Wii U Smash Brothers um, controller it connected up through the uh, little box the little um, GameCube adapter and it literally only registered with Smash like Smash was the only game that ever recognized that controller so, like, if you wanted to play any other game, even, like, games that appeared on GameCube that were re-released, like, uh, the main two that come to my head were Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and the, um, Wind Waker that were originally released on GameCube, never revealed any kind of update to bring GameCube controller support to people who would prefer to use a normal controller. Whereas with the Switch version... With the Smash Brothers Ultimate controller, you're buying this now, you're getting the GameCube adapter. The thing is, is that the Switch doesn't recognize this as a GameCube controller, really. It recognizes it as a Pro controller. So, you can just use this with any game you wanted to if you have the way of doing it. The only thing you'd have to do is use the Z button. In uh, if, if any games use the ZL button, you're kind of out of luck. But, hey, for platforms and stuff like that, you want to use a GameCube controller, hell yeah. Um, I don't exactly know how much these are at the moment, and I don't really know if you can buy them, really, at the moment. I think a lot of stores sold out of them. So, I mean, if you're into GameCube controllers, if you're into Super Smash Brothers, and you've always played with GameCube, if you've wanted to get to GameCube, but don't know the best way to find GameCube controllers, I think you can find a lot of them a lot cheaper pre-owned. But if you want to have that brand new controller, if you want to be the one responsible for wearing out the buttons so that you can find your comfort zone, hell yeah, I can recommend the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate GameCube controller. Thank you so much for watching this little bit of unboxing, comparison, review, everything. Um, <laughs> this has been a fun one to make. I'm glad I have this controller now. I now have four controllers, including the Resident Evil controller. And now I'm going to be set for playing four players Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you are interested in more video content, please check out my channel. Subscribe, click the like button. I do, hopefully, regular stream updates and uh, stream highlights. And also stuff like um, Mini Mugs, the talk show that I do regularly. I'll try and add some videos down in the description for you to watch. Until next time, guys, may your fridges be ever full. And I'll make sure to stay extra long, extra large. An extra live on Twitch and stream.me. Links in the description for you. Bye bye.